Hello everybody, this is me, MC Gamer, and you're tuned back on into Mother 3. We're going up here, up the ladder that uh, our good friend Duster made for us. Hello, Duster. Looks like the rain stopped. I have a slight leg handicap, but I'll do my best. Please take me with you. So we now have a party of three. We have Duster, Flint, and Boney. There's a safe frog right here. It's the same color as Tanawa's dress. We got the scrap of cloth. Let's see what's here inside this cave. Seems to be some sort of mole thing. I'm going to actually... Some nut bread. This guy's going to come for me the second I move. <laughs> nope. Okay, we're going to have to battle him. A mischievous mole. Let's see if what we can do. Let's see what, how, how, how much like power Duster can do. So it, he, that mole threw a rock. I didn't even know moles could throw rocks. Oh, Boney leveled up. Congratulations, Boney. And he left some nut bread. Wow, totally worth it. Totally worth it to kill that guy then. Let's actually see if we can... Snack some beef jerky. Oh, looks like we're going to have another battle against one of the moles. The mischievous moles of mischievousness. Ooh, we got it. We actually got a, uh, a nice little combo there. And Boney took care of it. No problem. All right, so let's uh, leave the cave. And let's heal up before we move on ahead. Uh, let's see what we can do here. So, who... The beef jerky restores 60. I don't think we need to use that at all. Um, in fact, nobody's really harmed that much. The cookie will be good enough to heal up Flint. Um, and I think it's going to be best that we're actually going to give um, a lot of our food to Duster to hold since he seems to be pretty fast of a character um, because uh, very similar because people have been comparing the game inside the comments to Pokemon um, it is kind of similar to Pokemon in that um, you can uh, there, there's like speed statistics and it's, it's an RPG in general so uh, if we give our food to the um, our other characters that's useful so that they can actually heal us faster since they're speedier characters than Flint okay Okay, please be careful out there. Get my regards to the next frog you meet. What'll do, frogman? Hey, Flint, there's someone here. What are those? Are they human? I'm not quite sure. What are they doing? Hello? I am Flint of Tasmili. What are you doing? Whoa, he seems to have dropped something. Oh my gosh, what is that? It's the Reconstructed Caribou. Now this guy, pretty strong. Pretty strong indeed. Um, so what we're actually going to do, though, is we're going to use a Thief tool. Um, that's one of, that's what Duster's uh, special abilities are, similar to um, Flint's manly moves, like the Power Smash and the Strengthen Up. He can use his wall staples. So, um, Bo Boney is able to sniff, and that'll uh, tell you about their weaknesses. Of course, we don't have anything that could be, you know, like, special, like, like, attacks or anything yet. So we're just going to have him bite for it now. Okay, so Duster's going to throw his wall staples, and the Reconstructed Caribou is pinned down. It's sort of like a paralysis-type move, in that it cannot attack us. Whoa! I just got a four-hit combo! That's the, the biggest one we've had so far. Very good. Okay, let's go one more move. 
All right, he broke free of the wall staples. Oh, oh wow, and he missed! What a, what a lucky draw right there. Let's see if we can wall staple him again. Excellent. Okay, let's... I'm, I'm not so good with these, these combos right now. Uh, there we go. He's gonna generate... Oh, gosh. Uh, when he does that big burst of steam, that means that he's about to get real, so... Um, I seem to have pressed the wrong button. Um, there we go. Wall staple. Um... Ow! Oh, wow. Boney's going to die here. Okay, Boney is down. Did the wall staples get him in time? I don't think they did. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I'm actually going to have Duster heal Flint. Duster took out the beef jerky and Flint ate it. And now, uh, have some bread yourself, Duster. Okay, there we go. Okay, Duster, you need to get out your wall staples again. Very good. And let's give it another round of attacks. There we go, and the reconstructed caribou has been defeated. It stopped moving. Very good battle right there. Very good indeed. Dust level is now nine. Congratulations, Dusta. Now for you guys. Nah, they ran. Lying on the ground is a notebook with a pig nose like mark on the cover. Give it a read? By all means. Flint picked up the notebook and read it. The following is written in poor handwriting. All the creatures around here suck. We need to make them cooler. So the theme will be tougher, rougher, badder. We'll mix and match this and create that to create. Sorry. We'll mix and match this and that to create whole new things that no one's ever seen before. I dub it the Fascinating Chimera Project. Let's reconstruct and modify stuff slowly and steadily. What do we have up ahead? We seem to have some sort of strange ship. cliff here has crumbled. Doesn't look like there's any way to get across. Perhaps if we go backwards, maybe we can find, uh... Maybe they've taken care of that tree. That's actually a good plan. Let's continue on that way. Down we go. Flint! We found the kids. They seem to have fallen into the river and washed up here. I'll look after Boney. You just hurry and see him. Oh, thank gosh they found the kids. Out of the way. Please let me through. <laughs> Darn guys. Oh, Flint, Duster. This way, this way. Thank you. So do we... Here we go. I made some minute tea, Flint. Please have some. It'll warm you up. Here, everyone else should take a break and get warm, too. Is 
So the kids appear to be safe. I guess I still haven't found Hanawa. Where the heck could she be? I wonder where Klaus and Lucas fell into the river. In any case, I'm just glad they're okay. I wonder what they'll get to eat when their mom gets back. I hope she comes back soon. Thank goodness they're okay. What a relief. We haven't found Hanawa yet, but for now, you should warm yourself up by the fire. Keep this up, you'll wind up worse off than her. It seems they both fell into the river and got washed downstream. Poor little things. Flint! Oh, it's Bronson. What appears to be the problem, Bronson? Flint. I'm not sure what to say, but I'll stay calm and hear me out. I have good news, and I have bad news. Which do you want to hear first? No. So let me start with the good news first. Picked up a giant Drago Fang. It'll make for a great weapon. I figure you could probably use it. And for the bad news. The bad news is... It's where I found the Drago Fang. It was in here. It was pierced through your wife's heart. Flint. Just try to stay calm. I think the lawyers in Klaus and Lucas are safe and sound now. It's because Hanawa risked her life to protect them. Flames. what to say. Please try to pull yourself together. Flint! What are you doing? Klaus and Lucas are watching! No one's ever been thrown into Tazmilly's jail before. You have the honor of being the first. 
Flint. You gave Ollie and Abbott a real walloping, but they're all right now. About Hanawa. I can only offer my deepest condolences. Still, why would a drag go attack someone? They're such friendly creatures. Take it easy in here for a while. I know you must be having a hard time with this, but try and get some sleep. The Drago thing that was stuck in Hanawa's chest. I'll hold on to it for you. When you get out of here, come drop by my house and get it. Don't forget now. So we seem to be... The lock is rusted. We seem to be stuck... Appears to be unused for a long time. Not much to do. We're in jail. <sighs> Just pace. Pace and wait. Really don't know what to say. Perhaps something good will happen. I don't know. Dad, it's me, Klaus. Klaus. I told Lucas to come, too, but he's been crying at Mom's grave all this time. Dad, I'm going to leave this apple here. The core might be hard, but... The core. The core might be too hard to eat, but be sure you eat it. I'm going to get stronger. I'm going to get so strong even Dragos won't be able to stand a chance against me. Dad, I... I guess we'll eat the apple then. <laughs> Inside the apple there was a hand file. What a good son. Helping me escape from jail. And we're free. Flint. Not really sure what to say. What happened in Hanawa was a terrible tragedy. I can't say I know how you're feeling. Hanawa's burial ended without incident. Lucas has been crying out of grave ever since. His poor little heart seems like it's about to break in two. If there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know anytime. Seems like the only thing we can do right now is go to Lucas. You said anything could come true. As long as we prayed from the bottom of our hearts, Mom can't even punish me anymore now. I don't want it like this. Oh, long time no see. It's me. I haven't been to the village in a while. But I rushed right here after I heard about Hanawa. Just after I had such a wonderful time with my grandkids. Sorry. Say, come to think of it. Where's Klaus? Is he not with you? He said he was going to come see you, then he never came back. Lucas, do you know where Klaus went? No. Lucas, it's not good to keep secrets from people. T don't tell me Klaus went after that detestable dragon to try to... N -n no He didn't take Dad's homemade knife and go to the mountains to kill the drago. 
like, ah! It's a good thing you raised him, to be honest, Flint. Does Klaus honestly think a homemade knife can kill a Drago? Lucas, why didn't you stop him? Well, I said I wanted to go too, but he said no because he was going alone. So just let him go? You fool! Maybe that was a little harsh of me. Flint, sounds like Klaus heading to the mountains to kill the Drago that killed his mom. For a race against time, but this can't be any ordinary Drago we're dealing with here. We need the proper equipment first. Get a weapon to fight the Dragos with, and then hurry to my place. Come and get me at my house after you've gotten yourself a weapon. You remember where I live? If you don't, then have old maps and mark it on your map for you. I think he's in the town square. But that's all the time we have for on this episode of Mother 3. I'll see you all next time.